Two, but it was about third and fourth today and Manchester United and Chelsea on 66 points take those berths. They will be in the Champions League next season. Leicester and Spurs will be in the Europa League. Wolves finish seventh. If Chelsea win the FA Cup, they will definitely be in the Europa League next season. They are still in the Europa League this season, of course. Should they go on and win it, they would be playing Champions League football. Arsenal in the FA Cup final. They have to win that now to get into the Europa League. They finish eighth. And there is, we should point out, a top half finish for all the heroics for newly promoted Sheffield United. They finished ninth on 54 points. For those two huge games in terms of the Champions League, you thought it would be Chelsea and Manchester United and so it proved. Yeah, I think it went with form. Leicester have been dropping um, gradually throughout the season. They had a lot of injuries, suspensions as well today. And Manchester United, of course, have been totally the opposite. They've been absolutely flying high since um, the resumption of the Premier League. They're playing a different style of football. Yes, the last few games have been a bit off shade, let's say, off colour at the moment, but um, they just had too much for Leicester. I did fancy them to win, although they weren't so convincing. It wasn't Manchester United's um, best ever performance, but I think they deserve it on the whole to be in the Champions League. It was about getting the job done today, wasn't it, for United? Yeah, most definitely. It was all about the results and getting Man United in the Champions League, and they weren't great, uh, but they stuck it out. Um, Leicester were knocking at the door, but they just couldn't find that, that goal. Um, so credit, again, like we said, you know, the run that United have been on, um, even before lockdown, after lockdown, they picked up uh, where they left off. So, um, yeah, they deserve it. And like I said, you know, big teams in the Champions League um, from the Premier League next year. And Frank Lampard's done it in his first season in charge with a tricky potential fixture there against Wolves which he overcame absolutely especially away from home I think Wolves are really dangerous you know they spring on the counter attack got a lot of pace a lot of quality in the final third and I think Frank's done the job today you know and over we talked about fine margins for these managers is it going to be good enough I think top four for Frank Lampard and the emergence of a lot of young players into that squad now has been a good season and four. they've still got, a, obviously, the FA Cup to come. They have. And for Manchester United, as you say, Leicester were knocking. It was a little bit nervy. At the moment. You know, I still think they're one or two players, maybe three, short to actually challenge Man City and, and Liverpool. But they're going in the right direction. They certainly are. Let's get some Manchester United reaction then from manager and captain, beginning with Harry Maguire. Harry, congratulations, you've done it. What sort of achievement was it to come from so far back in the pack and eventually finish third and seal that Champions League place? Well, yeah, like you said, finished third in the Premier League. Um, as a club, that's where we expect to be. We expect to be in the Champions League, but obviously the last few years have been tough and um, at the start of the season, probably majority of people didn't expect us to, to be in the top four come the end of the season. We always had great faith in ourselves. At the start of the season, we were far too inconsistent, um, dropping silly points. Performances wasn't good enough in parts of the games and we get punished. Um, we've been a lot better of late, like you've said, and to come from a unpromising position shows the great character that we've got in this group. Ollie, congratulations. You've always said that Manchester United belong in the Champions League, but what sort of achievement is it to finally do it, finish third in the season that you've had? I think the boys have uh, done a great achievement. I think, you know, where we were earlier on in the season to, uh, to end up third is fantastic by them. They've uh, taken on board so many things, uh, had uh, our ups and downs and uh, it's uh, of course come down to the last last game, and I've got to say it's a, it's a wonderful achievement by everyone. What are your thoughts on the game itself that achieved I, it's it? Not a classic. It's, it's one of them. Does uh, it matter? No, not really. But then again, we want to we want to learn to win games like this, uh, games that we uh, need a result in. You know, it's it's been like a mini tournament this uh, restart, and it looks it as well. We've. Uh, uh, we're a bit tired, leggy. Uh, I think everyone can see that we don't, we're not the same as we've been early on. But then again, we've had to go for it. We've had to catch so many points and so many goals. So, uh, and they've, they've done it. They certainly have. And just how big is it, Ryan, for Manchester United to be in that competition? No, it gives everyone a lift in the club, you know, um, and attracting players as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, some players will choose clubs that are in the Champions League. Or holding on to some, maybe? Yeah, and holding on to some too. But it's just huge, you know. Eventually, when we do get crowds back, um, you know, Champions League nights at Old Trafford are special. And, um, yeah, you, Ollie's beginning to mould a team which 
is exciting. He said there, yeah, they're running out of legs a little bit, but they played the, after lockdown, they played the same team more or less, which they had to because they won such a good run. So it was hard to chop and change. And they did look a little bit tired at the end, but he need, I agree with him, need three players, I would say, who to go into the starting 11 even. So um, to, to challenge both for the league and for the Champions League next year. Is this as positive as you've been in a long time about a Manchester United team? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, the players now, they, they do look as if they're the next team, let's say, to go and challenge the Liverpools and Manchester Cities of, of this world. Um, you're looking at it for, for a long time now and they've been miles clear of anyone but on form in the last you know 20-odd games and United are right up there. And I think another telltale time was when they won it there. Of course, yes, there was celebrating. Yes, there was handshakes and all the rest of it. But there was no crazy celebrations. There was a steely sort of determination look from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as if this is the bare minimum. Hang on a minute, we're Manchester United. Mm. You know, f- top four is bare minimum for us. So they're not going to rest on their laurels now. They're, they're playing particularly well. Uh, but as the lads say, they still need to add a little bit more before they can go and challenge for the top honours. Mm. Um, Frank Lampard will be uh, celebrating that fact as well tonight. He needed a point today. He got all... Th- Quetta have helped him out massively. Well, of course, it was a big decision uh, for Chelsea to appoint their former record goalscorer, Frank Lampard, who'd had one season at Derby. He's reached the top four. Let's see if he feels vindicated. It's, it's a nice thing in football to, to prove people wrong. And I understand the doubters because people will look at it and go, you, you, you got the job for a big part because you played at this club for a long time. One year at Derby doesn't normally, on your CV, doesn't normally get you the Chelsea job. But at the same time, the work that I put in here for 13 years as a player and how I feel about the club, and maybe the, the, the stars aligned for me in a way. Um, and I had to take it on the chin and understand that if I ever want a chance to, to be Chelsea manager, which is always a dream of mine once I took this role, this type of role, um, I might not get another chance at it. And the difficulties were there to take. I'm, I wasn't scared of the idea of failing because I, I, I trusted that I've had a good career as a player. That's, lo- that's done, that's finished. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't work for me here, now, in the future, whenever, it wouldn't be for the want of trying. And so I, would, I, would, I had to take it, simple as that. It took about, um, if it, you mentioned next year about bridging the gap, and you've got Zayets coming in, Werner, Havertz has had a mention as well, and some other really big names. Is a Chelsea, do you feel, going to have a real go as well next year? Well, I hope so. And um, the, the two that you've said we've signed, we will look maybe in other areas to improve if we can. Um, I know a lot of people have talked about our, de- our defensive frailties and, I- and I'll take that on board as well. We need to get better at that. So whether it's in terms of recruitment, but whether it's looking at ourselves, how can we get better? Because clearly, i as many goals and getting in the top four is great, but there's something we need to improve on. Um, but it's a conversation we can now have. And by the way, we've got a, a big game next week, so I, I don't want to jump too forward to that. But if we can improve as Chelsea Football Club, we have missed a couple of windows now. If we can improve them, we'll look... ...between Harry and Victor? Well, yeah, first of all, there's a lot of talking, but it's just understanding each other's game. Um, you know, knowing certain things, what he's going to do with the ball or where he might go with the ball, and what his, his position he might take up. You know, these are things you learn after you've played with each other for a, a lot of time. And they seem like they've worked that out very well this season. And can you see room even more for, for growth and improvement as a not just those two, two centre-backs, but the whole defensive unit? Yeah, well, since we've came back, they've, I think the whole unit's been, it's been brilliant. There's been mistakes at times, and that's where we've been punished. But in general, the understanding between them all has been really good, and Shaw, obviously, um, is in that as well. Yeah, sadly, Luke, um, unfit, unable to play today. Hopefully, we'll see him back soon. But there seems to be a bit more depth now. Brandon's come in and done really well today. I love it. Uh, I just love the competition now because uh, when Brandon comes in, it seems like Shaw's there anyway. So, you know, you're not sure as the games come um, keep going on if, you know, do you drop Brandon now because he's been playing so well and that's the, the competition you need in, in any squad. And um, Brandon to come in and play how he's played all season is something that you... You know, you don't expect from a young lad, but he's done it with, with ease. Yeah, now with Diogo and Tim Fosu mentioned more recently, who has come in to give Aaron wan Pasaka some competition, um, not just at centre-backs, but the full-backs, there is good competition, which can only improve them. There is, yeah. Um, like you said, uh, Tim coming in the last couple of games, um, or coming on, just shows how well he must be playing in training. Um Showing that Oli, you know, he's trying to make it difficult for Oli because Wambazaka has been brilliant um, this this whole season. So yeah, that that's what we need: competition, healthy competition, 
um, people fighting for places and that's all you can ask for really. So as we come to the end of this Premier League season, the longest Premier League season um, in history, uh, next season will be the shortest Premier League season we've ever had because of the upcoming Euros. Um, who have been our standout performers for you? Um, for me, I'd have to say um, Bruno. And I know he only came in in January, but he, he, like we've talked about, he lifted the whole squad, um, brought a little bit of a different dimension to the squad. And off that, you know, Mason, Rasha, Martial, you know, they all took advantage of that. And um, I think that's all down to, not, not just all down to him, but he started it off. He was the first piece of the...